Last but not least, number 10. Uh, the slab floor at the big box store has, been, uh, has just been finished and the contractor has just put a giant plastic sheet over the top. Why? Uh, so answer A, worried about curling. B, to protect the troweling. C, allows the finished floor to be added on top. D, uh, keeps the moisture from wicking up from the hydrostatic pressure. Um, so I'm just going to tell you that it's not D. Um, that that's not what's going on. It's not, uh, the putting the plastic over is not about hydrostatic pressure. Um, and if I'm in a big box store, my finished floor is almost assuredly the concrete. So it's not C because why would I put a finished floor on the concrete in a big box store? Uh, so the question is, is it about protecting the troweling or protecting uh, or worried about curling? Uh, and the answer is, uh, if I have a big slab and you know, presumably these are fairly wide spaces before you get to the um, control joints uh, or expansion joints. Uh, and I've got you know, ground below, so I've got uh, gravel and, and uh, you know, everything that's down below it, and then air above, um, and I pour this thing out. Um, maybe it's got a little bit of rebar in there. Uh, what's likely to happen? Well, the part that's exposed to the air is going to dry faster. I'm going to evaporate uh, moisture faster. Uh, and so it's going to start to um, contract compared to the part on the bottom that's going to have a harder time getting rid of its moisture uh, to that ground. Um, now, this isn't always the case because there are situations where the ground is actually very porous and pulls it out. and the humidity level is very high. And so, but in general, when you're talking about the big box stores, the things that they are really worried about is this differential. And so they want it all to uh, go through the uh, 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 heat of hydration, which is the chemical process of the water bonding to the cement, at a continuous level all the way across. Because if the top dries out fast, it's very likely that I'm going to get I'm exaggerating here, but a little bit of curl uh, at those edges. And so that thing is going to curl up. That slab is going to curl up. Now, you might think, really, who cares? It's a big box store. It's got a little bit of tiny curl at the edge. Uh, doesn't really matter that much. Um, you know, why would it even be an issue? Uh, if you're thinking that, you have clearly never worked at a big box store where you might be on a uh, forklift uh, that is 20, 25, 30 feet high, uh, putting those boxes in way, way up at the top. That forklift, I mean, even just a little bit of angle off is going to uh, make that uh, forklift uh, move quite a bit. And I've got some big heavy thing up there uh, and it's going to make that thing uh, fall. So uh, for the big box floors, uh, they really want to get them as smooth as possible. Uh, and so they're going to be very worried about the curling. Uh, and that's why they're going to want to have the uh, moisture stay as even as possible. So the plastic kind of mimics the fact that the bottom uh, is not exposed. And so you're putting the plastic on the top so they're both not exposed. Uh, um, and therefore, it is evenly uh, uh, curing. Uh, so the answer is A. B is also potentially an answer, um, but A is a better answer. Um, so okay, some of those were easy, some of those were a little harder. Um, they were all a little obscure, little bits of information. Um, in general, the way the exam is going to work is that there'll be some sort of information that you should know, but that you then have to use it in some way. All right, you have to kind of, you, you know, like understanding the fact of how the concrete uh, is, uh, it's both evaporating water away and it's going through the heat of hydration. So water is being uh, used in that direct moment. Um, sort of understanding that will allow you to start to have like a picture for how that thing is, uh, is changing shape uh, as that uh, project is being done. And then you can start to see it in this sort of design sense, this big floor area. It's not just the fact that uh, this is something that happens to concrete. It's that it's something that happens to people who are trying to work there, right? So it's a design issue. It's does it work for the people? 
uh, and all of them really come down to those kinds of questions. The exam will always be about some specific set of questions, but what they're really getting at is uh, how do you make it better for the client? How do you make it better for the public? How do you make it better for the design? Awesome. So I'm pleased to say we do have one winner here. So looks like John F. Uh, has won um, our free t-shirt contest, I suppose. Way to go, John. So nice work. Uh, John will be reaching out to you via email here uh, tomorrow uh, to get some information from you. But uh, congratulations. We um, also should do a little quick uh, drawing here. Can you pull up? Um, uh, oh, let's see. I can probably grab it from here. Actually, I can't. <laughs> can you go down to the bottom uh, and pull up uh, the web? Uh, and uh, oh, where is it? Where it is? Sorry. And go to random.org, and we'll pick our winner that way. Any last questions from anybody here before we uh, do this? So uh, one of the questions was, uh, will this be available? Uh, yeah, so we're recording this and we'll make this available um, on our podcast page. It'll probably be available on Friday at some point. Okay. So we're looking for, we need 120 at the bottom. So once you have that. All right, generate, ready? Yep. Spin the wheel. 103. 103. Who's 103? 103 is... Wow, all right. Uh, I'm going with, uh, so first name was J and last name was M. So just <laughs> some characters, interestingly. Uh, looks like Jason produces, perhaps. Uh, that's who it is. So Jason, uh, assuming that that's who you are, um, <laughs> you win. You win, there you <laughs> so go. So we'll be reaching out to you via email. We really do have your email, so that'll work. Um, and we'll send you um, the free uh, Black Spectacles um, ARI plus software learning uh, membership. So uh, with that, I'll go ahead and close it up. So thank you, Mike, of course. Thanks to everybody who tuned in and for everyone who tuned in all their, submitted all their questions today. It was pretty awesome. Um, if, uh, if you would like to attend our next ARE live broadcast where we'll feature a recently licensed, actually, we're not gonna do that on this one. Um, as I mentioned, what we're gonna be talking about is ARE 5. Um, and we'll be focusing on uh, exam number four, which is part of the transition. So. Um, Look forward to that. You can go to blackspectacles.com slash podcast to register to attend. Um, we will do the, we will feature recently licensed architects probably in October again, so that'll be coming up a little bit later. And just as a spoiler alert, uh, for September, we'll be focusing on the fifth exam for ARE 5 as well. So uh, August, we'll focus on the fourth one, and then um, September the fifth one, those two that are a, a part of the transition. Um, and, you know, just like today's episode, for both of those, you'll have a chance to ask questions and share your answers with Mike for live feedback during the, uh, the live broadcast. And if you'd like to learn more about our ARE exam prep curriculum, you can go to blackspectacles.com uh, where you can learn um, what, we're, what we're doing and um, try out any of the free uh, videos. And for those of you who are ready to start preparing for the ARE, and if you're already an AIA member, you can use coupon code 72016BDCSYT to get a 15% discount for the entire duration of your ARE prep membership. And then finally, please leave a comment below the video to let us know what you think, share any suggestions you may have. I promise we'll read every word that you write and use them to tune our next episodes. So thanks for watching.